for the the noise. It's really cold this morning. It's about 62 degrees. Anyway, I am headed to work and I just wanted to say good morning and happy Thursday. Welcome to another day in the life of an epidemiologist. Today's agenda isn't really planned out. I'm just gonna go into the office and look at my schedule. I can't remember exactly what I have scheduled for today, but this week has been going by super slow. I just don't understand. <laughs> but I'll see you all when I get into the office. It's what they are looking for and I'm just going to work on that for the remainder of the morning before my lunch break.
Hey everyone, so it has been slightly busy morning with trying to stay up to date with this what is now a tropical storm Ian, which made landfall yesterday as I believe a category four hurricane and just trying to monitor that, you know, checking on family and also trying to get things done in the office. So this morning I've just been checking my email. You guys know that's pretty much the standard when you get into the office. I don't have any meetings today, which have been actually canceled due to the storm, but there is one at um, this afternoon, which is going to look at the importance of HIV co-infection and hepatitis C virus infection globally. So I think that will be a great presentation to attend. And it's more so about advancing research in this field. So I'm going to do that um, later this afternoon. And other than that, I'm going to do some case reviews and pretty much go from there. All right, so I wanted to talk to you all about what I'm doing as far as responding to a data request. So we can get a data request from an outside source, such as, for example, a grad student or a doctoral student who is working on a project and needs some type of data that we work with. Or we can have an internal request where one of our team members need the data in order to incorporate it in one of their presentations. So when it comes to the data request for the outside source, what we have to do, it, it's a process. So you, you can't just request for data, say today and expect it next week. So we do have a protocol where it can take least four to eight weeks and that is because we have to regulate and confirm what they are asking for what the data will be used for how it would be used and we also have to route this data request and get an approval for this particular request that i'm working with it's actually coming from one of our local agencies and and they're just asking for something simple such as cases by zip code so what i'm doing in the size program is pretty much trying to manipulate the code um, so that i can generate the desired output to display what they want so that's pretty much what i'm doing this particular code is not long at all I'm just trying to work on the output portion, which pretty much is going to display the data that is needed. I'm not running into too many roadblocks right now. As previously, you guys have seen, I've had difficulty with the size code with getting it to run at times. But at the moment, I'm not um, encountering any issues. So, I'm just going to continue working on this and I, whenever you see me going back and forth, <laughs> I have two um, monitors and I am just looking for information for this code. So that is pretty much what I'm doing. I just kind of wanted to explain that in a little bit more detail about what I'm doing as far as this data request. Very simple, but you know, you have to make sure you are giving them what they want. So when I do complete this output, I am going to email it out to see, hey, if, if this is in fact what you want. So if it is, I can be done with it. If not, I can come back and tweak the code to give them exactly what is needed. So I will talk to you guys later. 
Okay, so I am on my lunch break right now and I had to run home to get my lunch. I kind of wanted to heat up my lunch at home. So I will show you all what I'm having when I get back into the office. It's pretty sunny where I'm at. The wind is blowing lightly, but there are some areas in Florida that have been impacted by Ian and I am keeping them all uplifted in prayer and just hoping for a fast recovery for them. So I have a conference call. Well, it's not really a conference call, but I have a webinar slash presentation that I was telling you all about this morning. And I'm going to be on that for about two hours. And during that time, I am still going to be working on that SAS code because that's a hard deadline that needs to be completed ASAP before the week is out. So I will be working on that and may go for a walk around since it's so nice out right now and it's not too hot. It was so cold this morning, so I don't want to burn up because I did, I thought that it would stay cool all day. So it's about 74 degrees right now. started so hopefully they haven't covered too much information like I said it's for about two hours so I'm just going to okay so while I'm listening to this webinar I am going to show you guys what I'm having I'm having minestrone soup that I purchased from Trader Joe's and all I had to do was just heat it up it's absolutely delicious I packed some of these um, caramel quicker snack health aid kombucha thank you Dr. Bowie and now I am delighted to introduce Dr. it's still pretty early i'm probably going to have this for a snack later factors very important risk factors for the development of this cancer and both of them have impacts on inflammation and Clean up this mess that I made for today. 